Happy holiday weekend, everybody. It is always so awesome to have a long weekend, isn't it? Of course, I know not everybody's off uh, for the weekend. Certainly, uh, many of us will still be doing a little work, but hopefully you're going to find some time to celebrate along the way as well. So we're opening a handful of things tonight. Uh, a Gold Rush autographed mini football helmet, the 2018 Series 2 of that that just came out today. We'll open a full case of 2018 Topps Tier 1 Baseball that came out on Wednesday. A full case of 2017-18 Panini Dominion Basketball that came out on Wednesday. And then we'll wrap it up tonight with a full case of Leaf Ultimate Draft Football. And that just came out uh, today. And that is going to have a, a huge number of hits in it. I think it's 60 uh, hits in total in that one. It's a lot. So looking forward to all of that. But before we get started tonight, well, first maybe I can fix my camera back where I apparently ran into it. So let's see if I can fix that back. <laughs> now, we have a little bit of information to go over before we get started tonight. So let me get uh, our spreadsheets up and we'll start rolling with that. So a couple of things to note on this page. One is that my feedback is completely automated on eBay. So what that means to you is you never have to wait on me to get caught up. So as soon as you leave positive feedback for me, you're going to instantly get it in return. So that's what we're uh, that's what we're looking at there. The second part on that page and the most important thing on that page is to say thank you. I appreciate everyone who bids and breaks and chats with me, stops by to keep me company and all of that. Next up, we'll take a quick look here at the things that are coming up in the days ahead. We're breaking a lot this weekend, taking full advantage of the fact that it's a long weekend and we're going to break tons of stuff. So tomorrow night, we'll do another Series 2 autographed mini football helmet. We'll also do an autographed jersey, a half case of 2011 Prime Signatures, another full case of 2018 Leaf Ultimate Draft, and a full case of Panini Classics football. Sunday, we'll do an autographed baseball jersey and a case of autographed baseballs, some 2012 Signature Series baseball, another full case of Dominion, another full case of Leaf Ultimate Draft, and another full case of Leaf Classics football. So Saturday and Sunday, both very busy. Then by the time we get to Monday, we're just going to roll through some autographed memorabilia and a half case of 2011 Prime Signatures. On Tuesday, we've got a, a few basketball breaks there uh, of some prior years before we break into a fourth case of Dominion and then we will also break another case of Tier 1 on Tuesday. Wednesday, that is the day that TriStar Hidden Treasures mini football helmets come out. We're going to break those in the half case. Uh, I like breaking those as a half case. I do that quite often. So it's a 10 box case so there'll be five boxes, half of it, opened in that break. So it's going to give you a, a chance to uh, Pull multiple hits perhaps in that one and then we will also open on Wednesday a full case of essentials basketball that's a brand new panini basketball product coming out next Wednesday and we'll bust into it next Wednesday as well for tonight we have one free shipping break that is our gold rush autographed mini football helmet and then the rest of our breaks tonight are paid shipping breaks that's tier one Dominion and leaf ultimate draft so a couple of things to note here the mini helmet, the free shipping break, anytime you break with me and you have something with completely free shipping, it's going to go out six or seven days after the auction ends on average. Sometimes a little sooner, but that's a good average. Right now I'm projecting Wednesday for the Gold Rush mini helmet. Our paid shipping breaks tonight of Tier 1 Dominion and Ultimate Draft. No post office on Monday, guys, because of the holiday. So nothing picked up, nothing delivered, nothing can be dropped off. Uh, so the earliest I can get this out, I believe, is going to be Tuesday, the 29th, and so that's where we have it scheduled. If anything goes haywire, there's always a possibility it could slide to Wednesday, but hopefully uh, with kind of a light night breaking on Monday, we'll be able to get it all out the door on Tuesday. That's the game plan anyway. Finally, consolation cards. If you are in one of these breaks and your team is not pulled in the break, you are still entitled to a consolation card or cards. I track that stuff for 90 days. Uh, if you are in the mini helmet break, that consolation card's normally going to go out with your next package where you do pull a card or an item. If you want it sent sooner by itself, let me know. We'll work it out. 
if you are in Tier 1 Dominion or Ultimate Draft and you get skunked in one of those breaks, your Constellation card or cards will ship with the rest of the break since that is a paid shipping break. So first up tonight, 2018 Gold Rush Series 2 Autograph Mini Football Helmet Break number 1 of the Series 2. And I wasn't really sure if I should keep it that way or if I should call it an extension of the other breaks. So maybe I did call it an extension of the other breaks. Did I? Let me check that real quick. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I changed it and called it break number 11. So let's just fix that. So this is actually the 11th time that we have broken a 2018 Gold Rush Mini Helmet. It's just the first time that we've broken the Series 2 of it. Okay, so there you go. So everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay Friday, May the 25th, the start of our nice long holiday weekend. And of course you see there we have team names on the left. Winning bidders are across from it on the right hand side. A new spreadsheet will go up before every break, so if you're not in this one, you're going to get a chance to see your name up there shortly. Finally, the background went out of focus. I know. Don't, ad don't adjust your screen. That is correct. I did that on purpose, and we should still be able to see everything without any problems. Now I can see in chat we have T. Cassidy and Nicholas is here. Hi, guys. How are you? Our mini helmet is the Oakland Raiders, and whose signature is that? So I can't, Otto Ott, uh, I don't know whose signature that is offhand. Not awful, why can't I think who that is? Hall of Fame 1980. Um, anyway, there it is. It's for the Raiders. We've got, a, uh, that looks like a Spence, yeah, there's a Spence COA, paper COA in there. And probably, yeah, a JSA, which is Spence uh, authentication sticker on the back as well. So the Raiders with the mini helmet, not sure who the signature is. Maybe, uh, maybe Otto, but yeah, that's my guess anyway. Oh, I see Nicholas. Nicholas agrees with me, says it is Otto. And uh, yeah, so cool. Excellent, guys. Well, there is our mini helmet. That was a quick one. Now we're going to roll into a full case of Tier 1 baseball, which we've had pretty good luck with so far. And again, if you didn't see this a minute ago, uh, anticipating a Tuesday shipping date, there is no mail service on Monday. And if you get skunked in the break, you will still get consolation cards. They will ship out with the rest of the break. 12 boxes of 2018 Tops Tier 1 Baseball Full Case Break, break number three. Same format that we just saw a moment ago. So team names are on the left-hand side. Your name in lights, or rather your eBay username in lights across from your team if you were the winning bidder. And I think we still had maybe a team or two, set, <clears throat> excuse me, setting out uh, unpaid as of now in tier one. So if you happen to be that person who is sitting there with your unpaid tier one team, uh, please jump in there and take care of that. We've also got uh, some unpaid teams for Dominion Basketball, which will be coming up next. And we've got some unpaid teams for Leaf Ultimate Draft. So if you're one of those people, please, please get your team paid and in before we get to the break. T. Cassidy, um, I, I kind of am not going to name out our teams because I don't want to call anybody out at the moment. And here's what will happen. I'll look at them again right before we do the break for each of those. And if they are not paid, I will kind of assess the risk situation <laughs> and make a determination at that point if I want to resell the team or teams that are unpaid when we get to that break or if I'm willing to just let it ride and hope for the best. So right now there are a couple in Dominion and there are a couple in Leaf Ultimate Draft and um, we'll take a, if they're still not paid by the time we get there, then, then we'll see kind of how it goes from there. Now there are, uh, uh, there's another one in there, but I know what's going on with that. That's somebody who sent me a message earlier, let me know they would be at work and they would take care of it later if they won, and also somebody that uh, breaks with me pretty often, so not worried about that when I'm talking about ones with 
that are sitting out there from bidders I might not be as familiar with and people with uh, shorter terms of uh, shorter lengths of time on eBay and stuff like that. So it's always kind of a risk assessment. So Cavs and Celtics. Man, I thought the Celtics came out and they looked like they might come out of the gate pretty well and then they sort of spit out the bit, so to speak, and I didn't see the final score before halftime, but I'm pretty sure the Cavs are up by double digits. So I don't know, every time, I guess you just cannot count out LeBron James. It's like every time they look like they're on the ropes and maybe they're not going to advance, they somehow find a way to do it. That collision, man, between uh, Tatum and Kevin Love. Whew, that was dicey towards the first of the game. But then how do you get Kevin Love out with the concussion, but Tatum is not? Wouldn't you think they would both have a concussion? Because they hit each other's heads, but I guess not. I don't know. Had a lot of untimely injuries. Chris Paul going to miss game six with his hamstring injury and really without him boy I don't know I don't know if the Rockets uh, are able to put away the Warriors without Chris Paul it's gonna be an interesting few days anyway from a basketball perspective I know this is the least fun part getting all the packs out of the boxes that's the drag but the payoff is almost here We're almost ready to start uh, looking at what we're going to find. Of course, as you see, we have one pack per box, and in general, we find uh, two autograph cards and one relic card per box. We'll probably have a couple of boxes in here, one or two boxes that may have uh, an extra memorabilia hit. That's been the case with our other cases of Tier 1, so I don't see any reason why that would be different tonight. Let me get a little stack of sleeves out on the table, and we're going to be ready to rock and roll here. All right. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. I need good luck getting the wrapper off, don't I? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> We are starting off with Adam Duvall for my Cincinnati Reds. That is numbered to 335. Next up, David Price and the Red Sox, numbered to 80. Sean Newcomb and the Atlanta Braves. Sean is numbered to 295. I've actually been pulling a fair amount of Sean Newcomb out of uh, Tier 1. Ooh, a redemption. All right. We're going to wait and flip it over here in a second because it's, uh, it's going to be a surprise here in a minute. John Lester for the Cubs, numbered to 335 on that relic. Another Adam Duvall for the Reds, and this one is to 285, so my Reds already have a couple of hits. And this is obviously one of our packs with an extra card, because, you know, we definitely have four, counting the Redemption, and we're guaranteed only the three. Cal Ripken for the Orioles to 50. Nice hit for Baltimore. And our Redemption is... Oh, Ahmed Rosario. That's nice. Um, and it's on the prodigious patch. So that's a cool little hit for the Mets. We will go to the checklist and verify that, of course. But I think we all can agree that's going to be the Mets. But we will check it out before we wrap up this one. Severino for the Yankees to 400. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see the numbering on the cards with the darker background, isn't it? Reds are crushing it. How about Iglesias coming out to 265? 
And another hit for the Cubbies with Ian Happ. And that's got something on the back of it. Do you see that? It's right under the L right there. And I believe, guys, there's a little bit up there too. I think that it's gold ink. I believe that probably this was stacked on top of one he had just signed. And I think that's a little ink transfer on the back of your card. This is numbered to 25 Ian Happ for the Cubs with, again, what looks like a little gold ink on the back. Still a very nice hit, though. Benton says Relic for the Yankees. We got a pinstripe, hooray, numbered to 335. Reds, what up, man? Reds are coming out of every box. Tyler, I always say this wrong. I, I say Molly and it's Maley, or I say Maley, it's Molly. I don't know. He's my own team and I never pronounce his name right. It's to 275. I'm going with Molly and that's what I'm that's what I'm sticking with. Red Sox, you have a nice little uh, Rafael Devers here to 100. A little nice rookie hit for the Red Sox. Now, if the Reds come out of here again, that's just going to be crazy because normally you don't pull this many Reds out of a product like this. It's been a crazy run. Frank Thomas for the White Sox. Nice dual relic to 25. We pulled a nice Frank Thomas autographed baseball jersey the other night. As a matter of fact, Adam Jones for the Baltimore Orioles. Definitely see some chipping uh, both of the lower corners left and right on this one. That is numbered to 335. There have probably been some others with some minor chipping uh, as well that I just did not notice when it went through. But when I do notice it, I call it out. Tapia, Ramel Tapia, Rockies to 275. And Red Sox, how about you? Another Devers. So basically, somebody just didn't uh, uh, do a very good assortment in this box to 275. Whoever was in charge of handling random for this particular case seems to have an affinity for the Reds and uh, Devers at the very least. D.D. Gregorius for the Yankees. Another pinstripe numbered to 335. Nicholas says he opened a couple of boxes of uh, Classics football today. He got a chrome Sony Michelle to 25, a Golden Tate Auto, three jersey cards. Wow. A chrome blank back DJ Chark to 35, and a Keckley Timeless Tribute to 10. Not a bad haul at all, man. That's awesome. Brett Phillips to 10. That's our silver ink. Nice hit for the Milwaukee Brewers. And we have another redemption. Let's see who this is going to be. Drum roll. Clint Frazier, Tier 1 talent. And that, of course, will be the Yankees. So both of our New York teams with redemption hits. And again, I will go to the checklist on these, but I'm also going to label them because... We know who they're going to. We know where they go. All right, so this is another one that I always say the name wrong. And so somebody sent me a message today, spelled it phonetically. And you know I'm still going to say it wrong. I just do. I can't help it. It's for the Rockies. And I'm supposed to say, oh, I always, I just get it wrong. <laughs> Mac... I always say MacMahon, and it's supposed to be Mac, Mac, men or Mac a man or I don't know. It's to 335. It's for the Rockies. He's a good player, and I'm never going to probably pronounce his name right. Mac, Mac, McMahon, I think, is how he told me to say it. And I always say MacMahon, MacMahon, whatever. Dylan Benton says for the Yankees. That is to 275. You guys all know that I'm terrible with pronouncing all the names. Reese Hoskins for the Phillies, numbered to 295.
Yeah, I just have some kind of a weird mental block when it comes to pronunciation. I've always had, it's always been that way. Alex Bregman for the Astros, number to 335. Here is another Ramel Tapia for the Rockies, number to 275. So, like, no kidding, they did a terrible job with randomizing this case. Jose Barrios, Minnesota Twins, number 225. Nice hit for the Twins. Cubs, Contreras. This is another one I've got. You've got definite chipping up here, really obvious in the upper left, uh, quite a bit in the upper right as well, not as bad in the lower corners, numbered to 335 for the Cubs. Tim Beckham for the Baltimore Orioles, and Beckham is numbered to 265. Drew Pomerantz, Red Sox, keep on coming out here. Drew Pomerantz is to 90. That one is a sticker autograph because it's on with a relic. And for whatever strange reason, when Topps does relic signatures, they're almost always a sticker instead of on card. So take that for what it's worth. Andrew Miller, finally we see a different team. Cleveland Indians, once again, I see upper left and lower left with some chipping on that, numbered to 335. Nikki Delmonico, hey, White Sox. Finally, we see a Delmonico to 265. Didi Gregorius, Yankees. Number to 25, couple of very nice relics there, particularly the one on the right, and of course, sticker auto. So Yankees uh, doing pretty well tonight also. Another redemption, holy mackerel, pulling more redemptions than we normally do. Matt Olson for the Oakland A's, number two, 335. Here's Ryan again. I'm just going to call him Ryan this time. For the Colorado Rockies, once again, that is to 275. This happy little redemption is Craig Kimbrell, Prime Performers Autograph. Kimbrell, I believe, is the socks, but of course, again, we'll roll over to the checklist and make certain of that. Don Mattingly. For the Yankees, numbered to 175. Barely got a pinstripe in there, but did manage to eke one out. Daniel Murphy for the Nats. Another box with an extra card in it. This relic is to 335. Sterling Marte for the Pittsburgh Pirates, numbered to 25. Nice hit for the Pirates. And another Jose Barrios for the Minnesota Twins. So, yes, my overall conclusion for this particular case is someone did a very, very bad job with random. Randomizing it. As in, you know, not putting in all the same player in the same team. Ay, ay, ay. All right, we have three redemptions to go check out. Rosario, Frazier, and Kimbrell. So let's uh, roll over here and take care of that. I got to get myself on the page I just put you on. Make sure we're both there. Yeah. All right. Excellent. So the Ahmed Rosario is autographed uh, prodigious patches. That's a mouthful. Let me find the right category for it. I imagine that'll be fairly low numbered, but. I don't know exactly how low numbered, because it doesn't tell us on here. All right, Ahmed Rosario for the Mets, exactly as we expected. Now we need to find a prime performer's autograph and a tier one talent. So let's be on the lookout for those as I go back through. Dual autograph, clear one autograph, come on now. 
Ah, Tier 1 Talent. Okay. So there we should find Clint Frazier for the Yankees. Where are you? There he is. New York Yankees. That one all locked and loaded. Now Prime Performers is the next one that I need to locate for us. There it is. And where are you, Craig Kimbrell? There he is for the Sox. And so, yeah, we are all good there. So now it's time to recap our Tier 1. I guess I better get you back on the back on the right screen to do that, hadn't I? Okay, so Clint Frazier, Yankees. Ahmed Rosario, Mets. Craig Kimbrell, Red Sox. Those are our three redemptions. For everything else, I'm not going to go through the whole exercise of looking at front and back when we recap, because, of course, we looked at the back and everything already, talked about the numbering. But what I will do is throw them all up again real quickly here so that if you missed it earlier, you joined late, whatever the case may be, you are going to have another chance to see what we pulled. And once again, there were uh, a handful of these that have what I would call very noticeable uh, chipping or edge or corner wear, primarily on the back, maybe uh, maybe some on the front as well, on a few. And then there are others that have pretty minor edge and corner issues, but most of the ones that I found to be the most noticeable, of course, I called them out uh, as we went along. This, though, the Ian Happ, note does have what I believe to be gold ink right there. Some kind of residue on the back. I think he just simply stacked one on top of another before the ink was completely dry and that's how we got maybe a little gold residue on the back of the one that we have. Which does happen from time to time for sure. All right, let's take a look at our relics and our autograph relics. Once again, whenever we have uh, a relic and an autograph paired together in here, they're going to be sticker autographs. Outside of that, all of our other autographs were, in fact, uh, on card, which is pretty, pretty standard for Tier 1. It's the way they usually roll with it. I see... Hi, Daniel. You are asking about Ultimate Draft, and uh, thank you, Nicholas, was kind enough to jump in there and answer that for me in the interim. Uh, yeah, the rundown, of course, we've already done the mini helmet. This is Tier 1 Baseball. Dominion Basketball is next, and then Leaf Ultimate Draft follows that. So if I had to guess, I would say uh, we'll have a few things to do in random with Dominion because we're going to have a bunch of quad memorabilia cards. So given that, I'm going to estimate maybe 20 minutes or so before we start on Ultimate Draft. That's, you know, give or take five minutes, kind of what I'm, what I'm thinking will be the case anyway. Getting our spreadsheet back up. And once again, if you did not see this earlier, your anticipated shipping date for Dominion Basketball, which is what is coming up, is approximately Tuesday the 29th. Remember, there is no mail service on Monday due to the holiday. If something goes kind of off the rails, it could possibly slide to Wednesday, but I'm going to do my very best to get it out on Tuesday. This is six boxes of 1718 Dominion Basketball. It is a full case break, break number two. It ended tonight, the 25th of May, and of course we're live streaming it tonight. I'm going to check here in a second. We're going to see if everybody's paid up and ready to go. And if they are not, then uh, I'm going to take a moment to decide. We'll do a quick assessment and decide whether or not we want to resell any of these teams or if I'm just going to let them ride. So I'm just checking that out. Hang tight there for a second, guys. Um... So, yeah, we definitely have uh, still a couple of unpaid teams. One of them looks like it's a person located overseas, so I'm going to, and their feedback is okay. I'm going to assume that's probably a time difference issue, and we'll leave that be. And I have another one here. Oh, that's somebody that's bid with me before uh, a fair number of times. All right, so we're going to let those ride. There is... 
a Leaf Ultimate Draft team that is unpaid as of right now. And if that remains unpaid, that is probably going to be resold. So if you were the person that hasn't paid for your Leaf Ultimate Draft spot, please pay for it. You got just a few minutes and then you're going to put you, you may potentially lose it after that if it's not taken care of. So Abe Cat 63, how are you tonight? Well, thank you for offering to pick up those teams. I appreciate that. Um, I do think since since the one bidder is overseas, I got to figure you know their feedback looks okay and they, it looks like they've done a lot of breaks. So I have to assume that is probably just a, a time difference issue. You know, it's maybe the middle of the night for them or something. So I, I decided, of course, to let that one sit and ride. And the other one that is open is somebody who's bid with me quite a few times, and I imagine that that they may have even sent me a message reminding me or something that they're at work that I just am not thinking of at the moment. So so we're going to rock on with Dominion, but I do very much appreciate uh, the offer to pick those up. So Dominion, we opened some of this when it came out on Wednesday night, and it was pretty awesome. I have to say, I really liked what we pulled out of it. It's a um, very, very well done product. I mean, honestly, I, I know it's not quite as expensive as National Treasures is, but the card quality was right up there. I was really pleased with not only the quality of the cards, but what we pulled out of the first case. So I'm hopeful that we'll have an equally good break with it tonight. And of course, as you see here, each box has a single pack in it. And each of our packs will have three autographs and one memorabilia card. Our memorabilia card uh, is a quad memorabilia card. Learn that uh, in case number one. <laughs> So, yeah, they're all quad, at least everything out of case one, everything was a quad memorabilia. So here's how that rolls. You have to have 51% or more of the card to take it out right. So out of a, on a, a card with four memorabilia swatches, you've got to own three of the four spots to take it out right. And if someone doesn't own three of the four spots, then it would end up going to random and we would use random to award it. And of course, details about how that works and all kinds of other stuff is in the listing description down there in that little special circumstances area. Okay, so here we go. Off to the races. Good luck, everyone. I'm hoping we're going to find uh, as much good stuff tonight as we found out of the first break. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's a metal card in here, too. There's a metal card and a base card in here as well. I was just talking about the hits, and I forgot about our other stuff, didn't I? So our first metal card out is Jordan Bell for the Warriors. And our first hit, that is a nice-looking patch. Uh, for the Cavs. It is Zizek. It's numbered to 10. Of course, you've got the on-card autograph, and uh, that is what, obviously, you see the green on there, so that patch has to be when he was with the Celtics, but nonetheless, still a nice hit. De'Aaron Fox for the Kings, and De'Aaron is numbered to 49. It's also the first in the series. You know, that always gives me a special little thrill for no apparent reason. <laughs> but it does. I like them to be first in the series or last in the series. I know it's not logical, but yet, there you have it. Numbered to five, Andre Drummond, Ish Smith, and Reggie Jackson. So the Detroit Pistons with a very nice Triple auto there, numbered to five. So very cool hit if you have the Detroit Pistons. We're going to set our quad card aside. And our base card is numbered tonight. How about that? Most of the time they're not. This one is D'Angelo Russell to 25 for the Nets. And our quad memorabilia. So we have... 
Josh Jackson for the Suns. Jarrett Allen for the Nets. Wesley Awundu for the Magic. And Juwan Evans for the Clippers. So those are the four teams in play on that quad card. We'll go to I will go to the spreadsheet uh, at the end of the break. We'll check out, find out if anybody owns 51% or more. And then if they don't, then we'll roll through uh, and handle it with random.org. And our metal card here is numbered to 49. And it's, uh, who is that? Kleber. Kleber? Kleber? Why do I not know this guy? I should, I guess, but I don't. Um, for the Dallas Mavericks. Next up, DJ Wilson for the Bucks. That is numbered to 49. Did you guys see the video um, with the police tasing the Bucks player because uh, basically because he was parked illegally? I mean, that was crazy. Sterling Browns, who it was that got tased, but man, I mean, that was terrible. Uh, Tim, Tier 1 did break already. We've done the mini helmet in Tier 1, and we are currently in Dominion Basketball. Allen Iverson for the 76ers, numbered to 15. Rudy Gobert to 49 for the Jazz. Another quad relic coming out here. And we have two for the Suns, one position for the Kings, and one position for the Clippers. And same as before, we'll check it all out uh, using the spreadsheet at the end of the break. Our base card here is Stephen Adams, numbered to 75 for the Thunder. Tell you what, let's just move our base card on up and get it out of the way. First off, how about that? This is numbered to 75, Tim Hardaway Jr. for the Knicks. Of course, we had the one earlier numbered to 25. They're usually to 75, but we did have one nice little gold one. First one I've seen like that. Lonzo Ball to 199, metal card for the Lakers. A redemption. We're going to set it aside. Miles Turner for the Pacers. The relic and autograph. And where's the number on? Where's the? Oh, good grief. It's over here. It's numbered to 49. I somehow just looked right past it the first time. Crazy. Nikolai, when he was still with the Bulls. Of course, he's shaved off his beard and... Come, why is that the wrong sleeve? He shaved off his beard and he's come down to uh, New Orleans. Played well down there. But this is when he was still a Chicago Bull. It is numbered 225. You've got a nice uh, three-color patch, an on-card auto. Uh, both corners, well, actually all four corners, maybe with a little bit of chipping on the front. Not as much on the back, but uh, nothing dreadful, but a little bit there. Oh, this is nice. This is a really nice quad memorabilia here. Look at those patches. Those are so awesome. And they're all for the magic. So you have Aaron Gordon and Vucevic, Terrence Ross, and Evan Fournier. So finally, a quad relic that stays with one team. We don't have to go off and go to random on that one. that our yeah that's our well all right i've got this backwards of the way i think i wanted to do it hey there is another gold one so we don't think we had any gold ones out of the first break already two tonight anthony davis numbered to 25 for nola for the blazers zach collins to 199 on our metal card out of this box our rookie, De'Aaron Fox, to 199 on-card auto relic. Nice hit for the Kings. Aaron Gordon to 25 for the Magic. That is also a nice uh, patch and on-card auto. 
Tyler Dorsey to 199. That's for the Hawks. And a quad relic that is pretty nice looking as well. And it also has Jason Tatum on it. And it is numbered to 25. And we are looking at Jason Tatum, Dennis Smith Jr., De'Aaron Fox, and Josh Jackson. So we have Celtics, Suns, Kings, and Mavericks in play on this one. Dion Waiters, number to 75 for the Miami Heat. DJ Wilson to 199 for the Bucks is our metal card. Another redemption. We're going to set it aside. Hey, the Heat with the big man, Bam Adebayo, on a rookie showcase, number 210. Got a nice patch there with a couple of colors on it. And uh, that is a sticker auto on the big man, Bam Adebayo, but I think that's a nice hit for the Heat. And a dual signature. Where is the number? Why don't I see it? Is it on the back? It's on the back. <laughs> For the Spurs, it is numbered to 10. And it is Derek White and Brandon Paul. Dual autograph hit for the Spurs. Quad Relic here, all for the Cleveland Cavaliers. So there's another that won't have to go to random. It is numbered to 75. You've got LeBron, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson, and J.R. Smith. One pack left. Of course, a couple of redemptions to still yet uh, flip over and see what they hold. And then a few relics that will be going to random or potentially going to random. Jalen Brown to 75 for the Celtics. Metal card is De'Aaron Fox to 199 for the Kings. These are in plastic, guys. That's why these metal cards look so dull. Uh, Panini was smart enough to put them basically in a sleeve of sorts before they put them in the product. So that makes, makes them look a little dull on camera. But they'll be nice when you get them. Luke Kennard numbered to 49. Nice Three color patch on card auto for the Pistons. Another redemption. TJ Leaf. TJ has a relic, but it kind of blends in with the rest of the card. It's navy. And sticker autograph for the Pacers, numbered to 49. And our final quad relic. Oh, that's very nice. That's really nice. Uh, it is James Harden, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, and Draymond Green. So Rockets, Thunder, Cavs, and Warriors. So we've got a handful that will still go to random and a handful that went out on their own. Jonathan, we've already done Tier 1. We're in Dominion Basketball now, and Leaf Ultimate Draft comes up after that. Uh, Scotty, I'm, I'm not sure when you say case one, number three, if you're talking about tier one, yes, that has already broken. D'Angelo Russell for Peerless Jersey Autographs is our first redemption. That should be a net, but we will, of course, go to the checklist and check that out here in a moment. And I apparently grabbed the wrong sleeve because that did not work out too well. Rookie jersey autographs for Kyle Kuzma. The Lakers are going to score with Kyle Kuzma. We had a beautiful Kyle Kuzma one of one come out, uh, laundry tag come out of the first case. And then Jordan Bell, another nice hit for uh, rookie jersey autograph. That one, of course, will be the Warriors. But we will go to the checklist and look all of that up. So let's go do that now. If you haven't ever checked it out before, the Panini website is really awesome to have all their checklists on here, mostly back to 2009. It's super handy to be able to jump on and find out everything we want to know. All right, we are first looking up Jordan Bell, which is just rookie jersey autographs is the card set that's printed on here. 
And Jordan Bell, of course, we know he's going to be a warrior, but let's find out what uh, what else we need to know. To 170, card number 175, he is numbered to 199. So I'm just labeling that uh, real quickly, and then we'll roll on with the next one. And that is Kyle Kuzma. We are in the same card set, uh, rookie jersey autographs. Of course, he's going to be a Laker. He is also numbered to 199. And then finally, we have D'Angelo Russell, peerless jersey autographs is that one. Card number 12. And there's D'Angelo Russell for the Nets, 249. So that takes care of our redemption verification. Now we've got a bunch of these quad relics to deal with. So let me get you flipped back to my view here. And we'll have to, we'll have to go to the spreadsheet again on, on many or most of these. So we're going to start off with this one. Now, I'm going to tell you how this works before we go to the spreadsheet so we can roll straight into random if that's what we need to do. So again, you have to have 51% of the card to take it out right, which means someone has to own three of the four teams. If no one owns three of the four teams, then we go to random. If we go to random, I always type it in left to right, top to bottom. So it would go in as uh, Rockets, Cavs, Thunder, Warriors in that order. I would hit random three different times. The first two times you can just ignore, they don't count. It's the third and final random that determines where a card is gonna go when we're doing something like this. So let's buzz over here to our spreadsheet and see who has what. So the Houston Rockets, DJ Max 61, our Cleveland Cavaliers, Darborn 81, the Oklahoma City Thunder is Jeffrey Karma 5, and the Golden State Warriors Jeans for the Family 1. So four different team owners entirely there means that we are definitely buzzing to random. Oh, look at that. I was typing and I didn't realize. I didn't realize I didn't have the cursor in the box. I was just typing away, thinking I was getting all my teams in there. Yeah, not so much. It's what you get for not looking at the screen when you're typing, right? All right, so here we go. First one you can ignore. The second one you can ignore. Third and final right here. There's our three times, our date and time stamp. It comes up for the thunder. So that is this card right here, this quad relic awarded to the Thunder, the Draymond Green position using random.org. I'm circling that. It is on, it's in a sleeve. I'm sure everybody saw me put it in there, but just to be on the safe side there, you can see that obviously I wouldn't write on one of your cards. So Celtics, Mavericks, Suns, and Kings next up. So exactly the same thing that we did with the last one, we will do with this one. All right, so the Celtics, everything below retail. The Mavericks, W. Burton, 1984. The Phoenix Suns, Marty Marr. And the Kings, everything below retail. So nobody with three of the four teams. Somebody has two, but no one has three. So we're back, back to random. Mavericks, uh, Suns, and then Kings. All right, first one, ignore it. Second one, ignore it. Here's our third and final. Three times, date and time stamp goes to the Kings. So that is this nice little uh, rookie relic here, numbered 225, awarded to... Uh, the De'Aaron Fox Sacramento Kings position. Which now leads us to 
this one. We have a couple of suns, a king, and a clipper. All right, so once again, our kings is everything below retail. Our phoenix suns, Marty Marr, and our clippers, J.C., J. Clee, J. Clee one, something kind of maybe not at all similar to that. <laughs> but all right, yeah, so fine. It doesn't just extend to names. I can't pronounce lots of things correctly when I read them. <laughs> Words I can, but names and usernames, I have the hardest time figuring out what they're supposed to be. I know, it's bad. All right, so Suns, of course, typed in twice because they are on the card twice. Uh, they are those first two positions. I always type things in in the exact same order that I explained to you before we started this process to keep it all nice and fair. So ignore the first one, ignore the second one. Here comes our third and final, and uh, there's our three times, our date and time stamp, and it ends up headed to the Clippers. So this quad relic right here for the Clippers. The Jawan Evans position on the card. Now, one more quad relic to deal with. Suns, Nets, Magic, and Clippers. So at least we know we've got a, got a couple of people back in the game that we just looked at uh, back in the same scenario. But we'll go through them again here anyway. So Phoenix Suns, Marty Marr, the Brooklyn Nets, Siosk 69, the Orlando Magic, Hardy Wang 22, <laughs> and the Clippers, back to the one I'm not saying right, J.C. Lee 1. <laughs> That's just so wrong. I know it's wrong. I don't even know what it is, but somehow I know what I said is wrong. <laughs> All right, so once again... Same thing. It will go in Suns, Nets, Magic, Clippers. Whoops. Try that one more time. All right. First one, ignore it. Second one, ignore it. Third and final. There you will see three times our date and time stamp. It comes up as Brooklyn Nets. Okay, so it is time to recap. Actually, we'll recap a couple of our base cards this time, just since two of them are to 25. Uh, the Anthony Davis for the Pelicans and the D'Angelo Russell for the Nets. All of our other base cards were to 75, which is... How they mostly come out but since we had those two why not show them right and then our metal cards uh deer and fox dj wilson zach collins lonzo ball uh, maxi kleber kleber and jordan bell our redemptions d'angelo russell for the nets to 49 Jordan Bell for the Warriors to 199, and Kyle Kuzma for the Lakers to 199. Our quad relics that had to be awarded using random, uh, this one went to the Nets. This one to the Clippers. This one to the Kings. That's my favorite. And this one to the Warriors. Now, everything else is uh, as normal, our normal little uh, cards. So, again, we're not going to look at the backs of these because we've looked at the backs of them originally. So, uh, there were, for the most part, they're in pretty good shape. Like any of these cards that come out, there are going to be some dents and dings and chips and minor things on corners and edges here and there. Um, but it's not too bad. Zizek... Yeah, he's got a little bit maybe up there in the upper left. Not anything terrible. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hang on there, buddy. This one maybe a little in the lower left on the front. Upper left a little, maybe a tiny bit. Actually, all four of the corners on these, but the left side's worse than the right on the uh, Nikolai there with a little bit of chipping and things. The 
This was a nice hit to five for the Pistons. Another De'Aaron Fox. Kings did very well tonight. Pacers and TJ Leaf. A quad relic. This particular relic. All four positions for the Cavaliers. Nice. And a dual signature, both for the Spurs, numbered to 10. And another really nice quad relic, that one entirely magic players. So that has a, a blah, 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 blah. that has us wrapped up on this case of Dominion basketball. So now we're getting ready to roll into Leaf Ultimate Draft. Let me get our spreadsheet set up for that. And we'll get started with it. So once again, Leaf Ultimate Draft, anticipating a Tuesday shipping date, no mail on Monday, holiday. Uh, possible that it could maybe slide into Wednesday if something strange happens and I get behind and don't get enough done over the weekend, but hopeful for Tuesday. If you do not pull a card in the break, same as Dominion and Tier 1, if you were blanked in any of those three breaks, you are going to get Constellation cards shipped out with the rest of the break. It's only in the mini helmet break that if you blanked uh, that it would typically ship with your next package unless you ask me to do otherwise. So this is 12 boxes of 2018 Leaf Ultimate Draft Football. It's a full case break. It's break number one. Just came out today. We're opening it today, Friday the 25th of May. And team names, of course, there on the left. Winning bidders across from it on the right-hand side. We are going to be looking for 60 hits in this case. There's no base in it. It's an all hits kind of product. All of the Leaf stuff uh, generally is. And it should be on card autographs. A lot of our high profile rookies. Usually pretty low numbered stuff in here. And one other thing that's kind of awesome. They will have the cards already in sleeves and top loaders. So... We don't have to kind of worry about if they're going to come out banged up and whatnot because they're nice and safe and sound in there. So that means typically we avoid the kind of edge and corner issues like we just saw on, on some of the Tier 1 and some of the Dominion and things like that that don't come out of the pack as minty mint. Uh, we avoid some of that with the leaf. Hi, Nicholas. I see you say that you're back. You wandered off and now you're back. You're in, Are you in Ultimate tonight? I think, are you? I think you are. I don't know. Sometimes I lose track of who's in, who's in what, who's on first. Okay, cool. Then I will, um, I will shoot you over. It might be tonight. It might be tomorrow. It just depends on how long it takes me to get uh, everything kind of situated after the break tonight. So if I don't get it done tonight, Nicholas, I'll do it tomorrow. And yeah, you can just, um, you can just scratch off and send me a picture of the codes if you want, or you don't even have to send a picture. You can just type it out, but just don't toss them out until I actually get them redeemed in case you know, there's a typo or something, right? So either way, whichever way is easier for you. If you want to do a picture so you don't have to worry about it, that's fine. If you want to type it out, that's fine too. Just don't toss them until I've redeemed it. That's all I would say. So that is super cool. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Steelers fan in football. Many of you know that. And Nicholas is also... Uh, a Steelers kind of guy and he's been buying into a lot of breaks and had some extra Steelers cards redemptions that were duplicates for him and he was kind enough to ask me if I wanted to buy them and I absolutely did want to buy them <laughs> so it's gonna work out well Oh, so the uh, contenders, you're saying they already have, Panini's already got stock on them? That's cool. But you know what? That isn't always an indication I have found. For example, I'm still waiting on an Ezekiel Elliott rookie card from 2016. 
that Panini has shipped out at least two other times already. And, I mean, some people got theirs within the 2016 season. We're getting ready to go into the 2018 season. And I still don't have mine. So, it, that is just because they ship it the first time or even the second time does not always indicate that they will continue to ship it in a timely manner. Because, frankly, I'm ticked about the Ezekiel Elliott because I it's so far removed now. It's not like it has no value, but it certainly has a lot less value than it would have had if I had gotten it in a timely manner. That's for sure. But we all know how that works, so... No sense complaining about it, I guess. Although I just did, didn't I? So it's too late. Too late for no complaining. I already complained. <laughs> All right. So here's the deal. Before we start looking at these, let's clarify a couple of things. The first one is anybody that was drafted in any of the seven rounds, the three-day seven-round NFL draft, they are going to go to the team that drafted them. Secondly, if they were undrafted, and they have subsequently signed a deal with a team and they are currently with that team, then they're going to go to that team. Now, we've got some people like Riley Ferguson who went down to Tampa Bay or Miami, one of the two, and he went down there as an undrafted free agent. He was there for four or five days, a week, but never signed anything and is not currently with the team. He is just considered an undrafted free agent because he's not currently with the team. Does that make sense? All right, so first out, we have Bo Scarborough to 25. Bo was drafted by the Cowboys. And some of these, by the way, I'm not going to remember. Some I will, some I won't. The ones I know and remember, I'll tell you. The ones I don't, I will look up, of course, before I send it out. Semi Cobbs was undrafted originally. I'm pretty sure he has signed with somebody, but what I cannot remember is who he signed with. Next out, we have Kiki Kute. Kute. Kiki is another one who I think might have been undrafted, but I'm not 100% sure about that. A redemption, Arden Key. Arden is a raider. And I'm sorry, that is uh, for what card set does it say? It doesn't say. It just says Leaf Ultimate Draft Arden Key. All right. Josh Rosen, hey, hey, Arizona Cardinals. Nice hit with your uh, Josh Rosen. It's a good way to start things off for the Cardinals. Oh, Nicholas is telling us that uh, he thinks Simi Cobbs is with the Redskins. All I could remember for sure is that he was originally undrafted. And, of course, I will look all that up again. I will verify all that, guys. Uh, before I ship it out, I can verify it all at the end of the break if someone wants, uh, but that's kind of how that will roll. Carlton Davis, I think Buccaneers, that's numbered to 10. Followed by Sam Hubbard to 15. Sam, I got to look up, see if I have him. Yeah, he's a Bengal, Cincinnati Bengals for Sam Hubbard. Jamon Moore, I'm pretty sure I wrote him down. Where are you? Jamon Moore is a Packer. Another redemption. This one is for Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb, of course, a Bronco. Calvin Ridley. I like Calvin Ridley. That is uh, for the Falcons. And, oh, okay, now, I got freaked out a minute. I saw that upper corner, but I think it's part of the photograph, so I think it's fine. But the lower left does have a little bit of a ding on it. I don't know how much of that you can see. must have happened when it was being signed because, obviously, you see it's already, already in a sleeve and a top loader coming out of the box, so... Um, Nicholas, I don't remember who the other guy was, but we'll, of course, uh, go through all these again when we recap everything. So, so we'll have another chance to look at them. Minka Fitzpatrick, Dolphins. Deontay Burnett, number to 10. He was undrafted originally, subsequently uh, went to the Titans. Vita, Vita Bay. 
Numbered to 25, Vita is a Washington, no, Vita is a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. I got Redskins on the brain. Vita is a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Mason Rudolph for my Pittsburgh Steelers. Darius Geis to 15. Now I can say Redskins because that's where Darius Geis went. All right, had to make a little room, had to scoot those over. Oh, I don't remember this one on the top. Let me see if I have it written down. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't have it written down. So, Quentin Flowers, I am unsure about. Ito Smith, Ito Smith. I'm also unsure about, numbered to 10. Mark Walton is to 25. And do I know where Mark Walton went? Yes, he's a bingle. Anthony Miller to 15. And Anthony is a bear. Ho, oh, ho, Sam Darnold, baby. Yeah, just dropped something. Sorry. <laughs> Sam Darnold for the Jets. Making life happy for the Jets, aren't we? So we pulled Rosen and Darnold so far out of our... And Rudolph. So we pulled quite a few of our QBs already. Carry on Johnson is a Detroit Lion. Dante Pettis is a 49er. That one's kind of wanting to slide up a little bit there. John Kelly, numbered to 25. I don't know that one. i got to look at that one. Rams for John Kelly. Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is for the Browns. A little one-of-one one printing plate with a sticker auto on it. And it is Dante Pettis. So we had a Dante Pettis a moment ago for the 49ers, and now you have a nice one-of-one one printing plate to go along with it. Oh, Nicholas is uh, helping us out here. He's, he's typing stuff in for us. He's Googling some of these guys as we go along. Uh, so he says that Flowers from a bit back there was the Bengals and that Ito Smith has gone to the Falcons. Um, and of course, again, you guys know I even stuff that I'm saying to you right now that I know what the team is, I still double check it before I send it out. And I'm sure that Google is right on that stuff. But anyway, that's the deal. Maurice Hurst, Raiders. Cedric Wilson to 25. And Cedric, Cedric, Cedric is a cowboy. Deron Payne, numbered to 15, is a redskin. Michael Gallup. I can never remember Michael Gallup. Uh, and I think I wrote him down because I can never remember him. So let me see. Cowboys. Here's Baker Mayfield, baby. So the Browns, there's your nice little Baker Mayfield with his tiny signature. I mean, that is tiny on there. But anyway, on card, Baker Mayfield for the Browns. DJ Chark is a Jaguar. Rashawn Evans is, I believe, a Titan. That's numbered to 15. I've got to create a little more space for us again. Martez Carter to 25. I don't know Martez Carter. Roquan Smith is a bear. Cortland Sutton, numbered to 15, is a Bronco. Mike White is a cowboy. Braxton Berrios to 25. I don't know that one. And what is going on right there? There's some kind of a, what is, I guess it's just a little, 
It's like a little, there, whatever it is, fell out. Piece of paper or something. But anyway, it fell out, so it doesn't matter. And I don't know where Braxton Berrios, uh, I don't know who he's with. Josh Adams, I got to look up because I don't remember. He was undrafted originally, and I don't know where he has signed in the interim. Bradley Chubb, once again, a redemption for him. Bradley Chubb is a Bronco. Sony Michelle, number to 10. That is for the Patriots with the nice Sony Michelle. Justin Jackson, I forget every time. Chargers. I am having the hardest time remembering the, the Chargers draft class. Like almost every Charger, I forget. Kurt Benkert was originally undrafted. I think subsequently the Falcons is who he is with at the moment. Trenton Thompson to 25. Don't know Trenton. Don't think I have him written down. I do not. So I don't know Trenton Thompson. Denzel Ward to 25 is the Cleveland Browns. DJ Moore. DJ is what? I don't know. I should know, though. Maybe I wrote him down. I know. We, I should know DJ Moore. Panthers. Panthers, Panthers on DJ Moore. Marcus Ball, have no idea. Absolutely none. That is numbered to 25. I don't even remember his name. So I don't even remember seeing him go through the draft. I must have been having a nap or something. I don't know. But I don't remember him. So Dalton Schultz to 25. And he is a cowboy, I think. Followed by Darren Carrington. He was undrafted originally. I do remember that. I don't really think Darren Carrington has signed with anybody in the meantime, but I'll have to double check that. Ronald Jones the second. Ronald, I'm pretty sure I wrote down. He is a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Josh Allen. This is the last of our QBs that we were hunting for, I believe. Numbered to 10 for the Buffalo Bills. Nice low number. I mean, I wouldn't mind still pulling out if we could find, you know, Luke Falk and a, and a couple of others like that. But we've at least hit, hit all of our heavy hitters anyway. So that's nice. Alan Lazard, originally undrafted, subsequently the Jaguars. Ralph Webb to 25. Ralph, I got to look up. And I don't have him written down, so I'm not sure on Ralph Webb. I do not recognize Cam at all. Don't He's another one whose name doesn't even ring a bell with me, so I'm not sure on him. James Washington, and it's numbered to five, and you know where that goes. My Pittsburgh Steelers. Gina, I don't know if Lamar Jackson signed in this. I... I uh, the checklist is always kind of dicey with Leaf. It usually goes up late, and I have a hard time figuring out what it's supposed to be. And I didn't, I didn't really look at it, I don't think. I'm trying to remember if I looked at it. I know I didn't today, but I'm trying to remember if I looked at it earlier this week. So to answer your question, I don't know if Lamar Jackson signed in this. Here is Marcus Ball again. This one is a one of one. And you guys are typing in various folks there as to who is who has gone to what team in chat. And again, hopefully uh, those who are participating in the break, you guys can see that in chat and see uh, your fellow bidders here in there helping you out, helping me out with it. And of course, I will make sure that uh, everything is all spot on before it goes out the door. Equionimus St. Brown. So, uh, was drafted by the Packers, I believe. Auden Tate, number 15. Auden was uh, the Bengals. Marcel Aitman. I have a hard time remembering Marcel Aitman. Cannot retain that one. 
Marcel, where are you, friend? Raiders. There's Luke Falk. Look at that. See, I kind of conjured him up, didn't I? Ha ha. Nice. Always net. Now, is that everybody? Is that all of our primary? Well, I guess not Lamar Jackson, right? That's why you were asking about him. Yeah. But Luke Falk, of course, is the Titans. How about a second Baker Mayfield for you, Browns? This one numbered to 20. So two Baker Mayfields. Yeah, go team. All right, so that is our case with our massive 60 hits. And we'll take another little buzz through them here. And, of course, this time I'm not going to necessarily flip over and look at the backs. We'll just look at the front. The vast majority of these look to be in excellent condition, as they usually are with Leaf. There was the one where I noticed kind of a little... Uh, wonky uh, lower left corner but for the most part I think these are going to be in, in excellent shape I guess like everything else sometimes uh, you know when they're getting signed or when they're being produced or or whatever the case may be they suffer a few little bumps and bruises I just said we weren't going to look at the back and then I showed you the back so let's try that again not look at the back <laughs> Nicholas you out of here alright ma'am well I will catch you the next time hey thank you again for looking those up for us and everybody else too. I know that uh, uh, we had a couple of other folks in here nice enough to help look up some of the ones that I wasn't sure about and post them in chat. So thank you guys for that and gals. It's, I still have to learn a lot of this. There's so many players every year, and until I start seeing them in their NFL uniforms, it is, as you can see, there's a handful I can remember, and then there's a handful that I kind of know sort of what happened, as in, like, I know they're undrafted, but then I can't remember where they signed, and then there's a small number that I just don't remember at all, but it gets better as the year goes on, and once we start getting into the products with them in their NFL uniforms, which is about a month from now, roughly, it starts kind of being a little easier to remember. Of course, then again, I guess if I sort enough classics between now and then, I will <laughs> I'll probably know them all by heart. There's a oh, classics is a is a painful sort. It takes forever. But that's all right. It's worth it. As long as we pull good stuff. Oh my goodness, it is all good. All right, that was fun. I don't know what that was all about right there. But, thank goodness, they're all in top loaders and sleeves and no harm, no foul. But overall, I'd say we did pretty well with this case. We hit all of our major quarterbacks except for Lamar Jackson as you pointed out there one of our round ones that we didn't hit but I think we hit pretty much everybody else a couple of the secondaries too with Luke Falk and Mike White decent number of low numbered uh, hits and of course everything on card so as a whole pretty happy with it So we've got another case of this, of course, we're going to open up tomorrow night and then another one we will open up Saturday night as well. I will put up the spreadsheet info here in a minute in case someone missed it earlier. It'll show you your shipping information, your projected shipping date, and then we'll also take a little scroll through what's coming up in the days ahead. But I know many of you are taking off, so uh, once again, thank you everyone for joining the break tonight and chatting and bidding and breaking and all that. So this is our rundown. Uh, the free shipping break tonight uh, going out approximately next Wednesday the 30th. The paid shipping breaks tonight going out approximately Tuesday the 29th. Please remember there's no post office, uh, no postal service on Monday at all. No drop off, no pickup, no nothing. And uh, yeah, so that's why it's projected for Tuesday. And if it, something goes kind of crazy, it might even slide to Wednesday. If you were skunked in the break, if you didn't pull anything for your team, you will get your consolation card shipped with the rest of the break. If you were in Tier 1 Dominion or Leaf Ultimate, 
if you were in the mini helmet break those are generally going to go out with your next package if you want it sent sooner by itself hit me up in ebay messages we'll make it work finally our upcoming breaks for the days ahead uh, tomorrow night we've got an autographed jersey another gold rush mini helmet some 2011 prime signatures another case of leaf ultimate draft another case of classics football Sunday, we'll do a Gold Rush autographed jersey, a case of autographed baseballs, Onyx preferred player, some 2012 Signature Series baseball, another case of Dominion basketball, another case of Leaf Ultimate draft, and a case of Classics football. Sunday's going to be crazy, stupidly busy. Then Monday, because we did so much on Saturday and Sunday, Monday's pretty much all memorabilia with just a little half case of 11 Prime Signatures mixed in there. On Tuesday, we've got some 2012-13 Gold Standard Basketball, 12-13 and 13-14 Timeless Treasures combined into a break. Another case of Dominion Basketball, and that will be the last case of Dominion, the one that we open on Tuesday the 29th. And another case of Tier 1 Baseball. On Wednesday, TriStar Hidden Treasures Autograph Mini Helmets come out. We're going to break it by the half case. None of that one box stuff that night. We're going to break all five boxes, a half case, uh, half of our 10 box case in one break. And then we will also break a full case of Essentials Basketball, which comes out uh, Wednesday the 30th as well. So that's what our five days ahead look like. And uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty well got me wrapped up for tonight. So once again, thanks everyone for participating. I hope you're off to a good start for the long four-day or long three-day weekend, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. Bye now.